Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm, I just got back um, from a little trip visiting my parents back home. Um, and I used my gym bag as like my suitcase, kinda. So I emptied it out before I left, and now that I'm back, I'm repacking my bag to go to the gym. So I'm just gonna give you a little gym bag tour, you know? Okay, so we'll start out with the bag itself. It's from Lulu. It is pretty old. I think it's at least four years old, maybe longer. So I don't know if this is still like a bag that people can get. I'm not sure. If it is, um, I will let you know um, down below. But I'm really not sure kind of what the status of this bag is. Anyway, so we'll start with the outside of it. So... The little um, carabiners on this bag actually broke. So one of them has a name tag I had um, with my full name on it, a little smiley face, um, back from when I was like a camper, when I was like 12, 13. I think it's really cute and because my bag is so black and lots of people have back black gym bags, I was like, oh, make it a little personal. Um, and then I have one of the like old telephone um, cord elastics on this side and then I just have a random carabiner here because that's the carabiner that holds the strap which is adjustable but is it is odd um so there's a little like I don't know what you call that it's like not it doesn't make like the perfect like circle I don't know if you can see it and I don't know how to fix it but I got it like that so that's what we're dealing with um, and then this side we have another random carabiner holding the elastic because that carabiner broke. Um, holding the um, strap I mean. Then I have a one of these things, it's like for your keys. Why it's on there? No idea. Um, then I have a second telephone elastic and a... I really like these kind of elastics um, at the gym but I really like the telephone like ones um, if I'm doing anything other than um, lifting because my hair will stay. But yeah, so that's the outside of the bag. And then we have a, in the front, one of the sides I guess, is like a little tiny pocket. It can like, it fits my hand like this. And we just have a dirty mask in there, which I'm going to wash. Oh, I think we have a friend that might come visit us. Um, and then the other side has a full zip. It's quite long. Hello, Daisy. And in here we have some more fun things. So we have Kleenexes. Oh my goodness. Little Kleenexes. Not for you. Another mask and another mask. I have a bunch of masks in here. Um, I'm actually going to leave the blue one in there. Just in case you forget to bring one. I don't want to be at the gym without a mask. Um, because then I wouldn't be allowed to go inside. And then, on the other side, um, it's like a bigger, you could probably fit like a small pair of shoes on this side. Um, definitely like a pair of leggings and a sports bra, um, if I didn't change before I went to the gym. And then probably one of my favorite parts, especially for traveling, is this side. Um, and it's for like dirty clothes or your shoes. So when I'm traveling um, and I use this as like my, or if I'm like just going somewhere and I need a change of clothes, um, I just put my dirty clothes in this compartment or I put my shoes in there. So right now I actually have my Converse, which are probably my main shoe that I use right now. Um, they're just, they're flat bottoms and that's kind of what I'm into right now when it comes to lifting. So these are my main shoes that I use. So these are usually the ones that are in my bag because it's easier to access. Because um, this, see here, this goes inside the bag and it kind of, if you put things in it, it'll fold over. So that's kind of that situation. Um, and then on the inside, there's two, um, I don't know if you can see, meshy kind of slots. And that's where I put my lifting straps and my um, wrist straps. And, or wrist wraps. I don't know. I'll show you momentarily. And then on the other side, there's a, another kind of long zipper-like pocket. Are you going to sit? Can you sit with me? 
She just wants to be involved. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, and then they have another pocket in here, and that's where I have some goodies in here. By goodies, I mean another mask. <laughs> some hand sanitizer. Um, mango hand cream, which I, it's like almost completely full. I think you get these in like, when you get like Christmas sets or whatever. I think I just threw that in there. I was like, oh, maybe I'll ha use hand cream. I never do. Deodorant, which um, is kind of necessary when you are at the gym and are disgusting. I know there's a whole thing going around with Old Spice, but it works. It hasn't burnt me yet. And then, oh boy, we have a very squished um, Rice Krispie Treat. It's just we square. It's actually a holiday edition, so I don't even know if it's is it expired. I don't know. It doesn't actually say. I could probably cut that out. Will I? Probably not. I'll probably forget to. So that's kind of what's in my bag right now. Um, and now I'm going to repack it with my gym items. So first we'll start off with um, the shoes that I use at the gym and kind of what their different uses are. So I signed up for a really fun um, 10k Spartan race in June. So I've started running again. Um, started like running on the treadmill. So I have these Nike fly knits. They are from second year of my undergrad, I believe, if not first year. So they're at least like five years old. So I need some new runners, um, but I do really like them. You can slip them on and off super easy, which is like, I was using these previously as like my main trainers um, before I started like lifting heavier in the gym. Um, so I kind of use these to run, oh, they're Nike Freeze. I don't know. They're very worn out, and I can't read anything else. I don't even know if they have size. Oh, does it have a sizing tag? Oh, it does. But it doesn't have any info on them. Anyway, so these are what I use for running right now. Are they the greatest shoe? No, they definitely. I definitely need an upgrade, but it's what I'm using right now. So that's gonna go in the shoe thing slot area, and then I have my other pair of. I have Nike Metcons, um, they're just black and white. These I use um, usually if I'm lifting like really heavy, this kind of like, mostly I use my Converse but then when I'm like going for heavier, especially like leg day stuff like um, squats or deadlifts, I'll usually switch into these or I'll just wear these for my entire leg day. Um, workout or if it's a back day I'll just wear these for deadlifts and then I'll switch back over. Um, my old trainer highly recommended Metcons um, just for I guess how they're flat but they're also like a little bit lifted in the heel as well. I know they're very much like cross fit shoes um, so you know crossfitters do a lot of like squats and lifts and stuff and deadlifts as well so um thank you she is on the bed can you just can you wait we'll hang out shortly thank you so yeah these are also going to go in so yeah i basically have three pairs of shoes with me when i go to the gym for different purposes okay and now we zip that up that's in there and then i'm not sure if i'll zip up the i'm gonna zip up so you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but they're right here inside the bag. So that's where those live. Now we have classic hip thrust barbell pad. This is like 20 bucks from Amazon and is also very old. I'm kind of in need of an upgrade, but I mean, it's doing what it needs to do. Um, is it in great shape? No, but I mean, I'm still fresh out of school. I'm still working on upgrading some of my gym equipment. So it is a little ripped and sometimes the bar does sit in the ripped area of it. Um, but I'm also, prior to my gym getting kind of similar-ish um, things for hip thrusts, I was like the gym's 
hip thrust lender, so I would go to the gym and then, you know, my friends would be like, hey Ali, can I use your hip thrust pad? Yes, you can. Give her. And then we have two hip circles, um, which I don't really use anymore. Um, sometimes if I'm doing lighter hip thrusts, I'll add these in and kind of superset it. But I've really moved away from hip circles since like, uh, maybe September. That's when I started, I kind of changed the way I was training. I met a friend and she was like, I do this instead and it's really helped me. I was like, well, I'm going to copy you and basically I have. Um, so she's really helped me kind of get into the mentality of let's get big and strong instead of just working out to work out. So that's really fun. So this one, it's from Rim Sports. I have no idea. It's kind of like a, it says it's large. I don't know what that means. It's like pretty easy, but it's not like super easy. I don't know. It's probably like equivalent to a medium somewhere. Um, I just like how thick it is. And also pretty sure I got it for like $5. So that goes in there. I don't always use them, but sometimes I do. And then I have this one, Oren, Oren hip band. Um, it's pretty cool. It has like these grippy things inside. Um, back when I started my fitness Instagram, I they like gave me a little discount code when I got this. But if you look at it, I like can't separate it. So it's they're really great for like home workouts. Um, but it's like so hard to use that I don't even know if it's like worth using. Anyways, it came with a bag somewhere, but I lost the bag, so this just goes in there too. Um, but yeah, that's what I have in there. And then I had, I had two, I had a black one, which was more intense than this. It's just like an exercise band. Um, this is helpful if you're trying to like progressive overload your um, push-ups. So you just put it around your arms and do push-ups with it right here. Um, and can be useful with like warming up, um, for leg day, I guess, but I don't know. I, I warm up differently now. It's, I used to use these like a lot and I just don't really anymore. I don't really, I just keep them in there. I think it's like a comfort, comfort thing. And then I'll get to my other band. So I have three longer bands and I got the I got a pack of like four of these with the come with little elastics and they tell you like what weight they are so they're called physics bands I'm not sure and this one's 10 to 25 pounds it says and this one I believe is like 40 oh 65 to 85 pounds which I don't know if that actually is helpful or means anything um, but I use these for pull-ups or good mornings when I'm warming up. Um, so this one is like super stretchy. So it's like basically nothing um, for when I'm working. So I'm trying to get as many pull-ups as I physically can. This one's a little bit harder. Oh, jeez Louise. It's a little bit harder. Um, but still like relatively light-ish. Like it says it's like 65 to 85 pounds. I don't know what that means. But... These are like my main two that I use. Um, I've had them for three years and I got them when I was working at a field station uh, for my masters and I didn't have any equipment with me and this is kind of how I did all my workouts when I was able to work out. I would use these bad boys. But I use them now um, at least once a week, if not twice. And then I have this bad boy, which it says Northern Lights. And it's like in between the pink and the green one I just showed you. It's like relatively stretchy. Um, I like it. Where I got it, I don't know. I think I just, it just was like, I just had it one day. So I don't know. But I also use this for pull-ups and good mornings. And it doesn't have the cute little elastics like the other ones. But I just fold it up how I fold the other ones and stick it in there and hope for the best. And then we have my lifting belt, which I need a better lifting belt. This one's like pretty flimsy, um, 
I definitely need a better quality one. And this one's also too big for me. It says it's size small, but I could probably go down to an extra small. Um, it like I'm when I use it's also Velcro, so I know that's like not top tier. It is what it is, and like when I put it on, and I put it through the little thingy here, um, these two pink parts overlap, and I it gets stuck in this part here, and that's like as tight as it'll go, and it's like barely holding on over here. Um, so that's what I use right now, which isn't great, but it gets the job done. Um, again, I think it was super, super cheap off Amazon, and when I started to learn how to like lift heavier, um, it really helped with like bracing, and also has helped me with my lifts um, because you bait, you brace differently when you have um, a brace, I guess. Anyway, so that that goes in there. That's a pretty. Um, it's used at least twice a week when I do deadlifts or. Um, heavier squats. Speaking of deadlifts and I guess squats, I don't really use anything other than that. Um, I have some deadlift straps. Um, so these were again super cheap off Amazon probably, I think. Um, they are extremely long. Um, they're definitely too long. I should have gotten, like, look, if this is around my wrist, like, that is... It goes to past my elbow. My elbow's here. So it's very long, um, too long, but it's what I have and it works. I like how there's like the like spongier foam there and it's, yeah, they work. They're really good for deadlifts, um, try progressive overload and you know, the weakest thing is your grip strength. These bad boys. I've tried using them doing like pull-ups and chin-ups and a little dangerous. Um, also, uh, rows they're good for. Any kind of rows, really. Anything where like your grip strength isn't cutting it, these bad boys come out. I would like to upgrade them also at some point. So these are gonna go in the little mesh packaging back of there. So those are in there. And then we have game changers, which I don't know if it's totally mental or what it is or if it's because I get sore wrists from working. Um, wrist straps for, I use them mostly for um, chest and shoulders when I'm doing heavier stuff. So kind of like if I'm doing chest day, anything over like 25 pounds, either side of the bar, I usually put these on. Um, I just, it's more become like a injury precautionary thing. I don't know if, I don't know if that's, actually true or what it is but it helps me mentally and I know it's legal in like powerlifting competition so we use these bad boys so oh, I just roll them up um, I'm sure you've seen them before so that's those so those go in the other little mesh pocket um, and then I'm gonna put my converse just on top there and then we have two more things that are always in my bag um, one of them is used every day I go to the gym and one is not. So we have iso supplements, fun, fun, fun. You don't need them, but they can be helpful. I stay away from caffeine as much as I can. I can have my one coffee a day, max two, usually just one because I'm, you know, I in school I was drinking way too much coffee and I'm trying to recover from all that caffeine that I was intaking. So I have a caffeine um, free stimulant. Um, it's from PE Science. I don't love this one. It's the blue one, Blue Frost. Um, and I also have a peach one. So this one's almost done. Um, I think there's like maybe one scoop left, if that. Um, and it kind of just, it's kind of like with the Rice Krispie Treat. People say it like fuels your workouts and whatever, whatever. Um, it's a little bit more mental, but I can also, like, when I take it, you can see the pump, you know, which is always fun. So, like, normally if I'm, like, super, super, super tired and, like, not in the mood for the gym, that's when I'll take this. It's just more to, like, be like, hey, muscles, time to wake up, let's go, time to work out, this bad boy. 
Um, so normally I take it before, sometimes I take it after, or sorry, right when I get to the gym. So yeah, I'm not like totally, totally sure if it's like completely, completely like worth it um, for like the average gym goer. But for me, it helps me get in that mindset and sometimes that's all you need. So that goes in there. It usually ends up at like the bottom of the bag and I forget it's in there until I really need it. And then we have the most useful thing of all water bottle so I have like I definitely have like better quality water bottles that are awesome but usually they're pretty heavy so I stay away from them this one's like so I think this is like six or seven years old um there's actually water in it right now I don't even know if it's a brand I literally got it from as a Christmas present from one of my cousin's ex-boyfriends so thank you um and that's what I use as my water bottle um and I usually have one, if not one and a half, of these during a workout. And I think you should have a water bottle during a workout. Don't keep going back and forth to the water fountain. It's wasting your time. There's always a lineup and the drama. If not, actually. But yeah, so that also just goes... Basically, everything goes in the big pocket. Then I zip that up, zip all the other things up. Um, and then that's kind of like my gym bag, ready to go, weighing probably at least 10 pounds, maybe more. I have no idea. And then in this little pocket here, I usually put my, my keys, my wallet, and then I carry this around the gym with me like the tool that I am in the gym. So, yeah, thanks for packing my gym bag with me. It was really fun. I felt like I wasn't doing it alone. Um, just got an email. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like um, this video, please give it a like. And if you have any other things you kind of want to see on how I prep to go to the gym, um, I know the gym can be a very intimidating place at times. And as a beginner, I, <laughs> you know, I feel for you um, if you're just getting into the gym, even sometimes as like a more experienced gym goer. Sometimes when you started a new gym or um, even if it's been a while and you haven't been feeling like yourself, getting back into the gym sometimes is difficult. So setting yourself up for success with um, the equipment that you're going to need that not all gyms have, I think is a good way to just kind of prepare yourself. Um, and sometimes even just being in the gym, you can still do like at home style kind of workouts. Um, but if you have some equipment that can... You know, when all the dumbbells are being used or all the barbells are being used, at least you got something that you can help move your body with. Um, so yeah, um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always here. Um, I'm going to put my Insta and my TikTok on in the description probably. Maybe on the screen as well. But yeah, thanks so for watching so much. Um, Daisy is asleep, so she will not be saying bye with me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!